Jo from All in the Folds and today I'm going to show you how to do a basic heart pattern book fold. Um, to start book folding you need a sharp pencil, a ruler, I prefer the metal rule, um, it's just it seems more precise and it never it's never broke <laughs> um, like the plastic ones that I've had um, and it doesn't wear away or anything like that. Um, optional is a bone folder or a boner <laughs> um, just for going over your creases and um, to get a crisp finish. I don't really use it much anymore uh, unless I've got a book that's got really thick pages um, the, the thickness of your pages does matter um, so yeah try and get the thinner pages if you can um, Reader's Digest books I find are the best if so if they're big enough for your pattern then I would go for one of those um, but it doesn't really matter too much about this pattern because it's only 82 pages that's numbered pages um, so you could even use a paperback just for practicing this one um, and you obviously so you need the books obviously um, I've got one here which is 288 pages that's numbered pages so that would translate to 144 folds okay. most patterns that you'll come across will have like folds as, and hopefully they'll have numbered pages as well but if it is just marked in folds and they go one two three then you just double your fold number to find your numbered pages Right, and the, the fact that you do that is because each page has two numbers on like this page 9 on that side and page 10 on that side but you can only fold this once so that's how that's why you double to find your numbered pages for finding your right size book okay um, and patterns will also have like how high the book is like this one is I've done it central in a 21 centimeter book um, it doesn't matter too much if your book's um, slightly bigger or even smaller, like some of the like the Reader's Digest are 19 centimeters. Well, what you would do, you would look through your pattern and find on your second mark or your bottom mark, depending where you get your pattern from, um, your highest number. And if it's under, like say you wanted, you had a 19 centimeter book. If it was under 17 centimetres, then it would fit fine and you'd still have a gap at the bottom, like to put your ribbon or just so it does, it sits right, that's all. Okay, so don't worry too much about finding the right size book. If it's bigger, then that's fine. Again, like this one is 23, I think. Yeah, this one is just over 23 centimetres. So all that means is the heart will sit slightly higher up in the book so I will have like um, a bit more room at the bottom like for decoration the tying ribbon I could just use the thicker ribbon or like whatever okay right um, centralizing the pattern okay now what I'm going to do because I've got quite a few pages here is I'm going to repeat this pattern three times so I would need 246 pages for the, for three hearts. So I've got 288. Let's do a little. <clears throat> so I've got 288 pages, but I need 246. So minus 246 for the pattern. And that will leave you oh dear, two, four, right, 42 pages. So you would half that, um, half the 42, which gives you 21, which means you'll start on page 21. Like the reason that you half it is so you've got the same amount of pages at the front and the back. Okay? Um, Right, so then, so I'll be starting on page 21. So I'll find 21. 
<coughs> right now how I do it is I leave the book how it would be like as if I was reading it and also with the metal ruler with this one zero is right on the end so you don't have to mess about like trying to find the zero so it's just flush to the end and I just use my finger to make sure it's flush so that's another bonus of this rule or any that has a zero flush to the end right and I I place my ruler about but just under a centimeter in from the edge um, and then yeah do my marks there so the first one I don't know if you can see uh, is 8.3 and 9.6 right so you would mark 8.3 the point three is your your little dashes like in between you your eight and your nine um, and 9.6 okay so you do little marks like that if you can see there yep. right and then just go to the next one now you can just mark that off and then you won't get lost right, so 7.9 9.9 and you'll probably find yourself muttering numbers a lot as well when you're marking up your patterns um, it just helps me not get lost that's all 7 7 10 so 7 7 10 7 5 10 2 Seven four ten three. Seven I'll just keep going, I'll just mark one heart and then start folding it to show you how to do that. And then I'll come back and do the the rest. Seven, ten, nine. Seven, eleven. Seven, eleven, one. So you obviously won't be as fast as me doing this I just I don't want to have you sat there for like half an hour while I'm marking this up seven one eleven four but so you, you just mark at your own pace it's better to be slower and precise you really need to be precise especially with rounded shapes like hearts because it will show when you, if you haven't marked it and folded it precisely. Seven two eleven five. 
seven, eleven more. Seven, eleven. Seven, ten, nine. Seven, one, ten, seven. Seven, two, ten, six. Seven three ten four. Seven four ten three. Seven five ten two. Sounds a bit like bingo, doesn't it? <laughs> seven seven ten. Seven nine. Right, so that's the first one marked up. Um, and then if you want to repeat yours as well, um, then you just start again from the beginning and just follow the pattern again. Um, right, so we'll go to our first mark, which was page 21, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, now what you do is you get your top corner and you fold it down you fold at right angles with the text and you I roll it slightly over the mark and then you'll not see it when um, when you're finished and then you just crease that with your finger and then bottom one you bring it up to a right angle slightly over so you're like on the mark that you made and then I just use my thumbnail for the bottom one. And then just, that's all you do really. Top corner down. Bang on the mark. You can use the text to make sure that you, you're straight as well. And you just keep going. these eyes are slightly thick but I could probably get away with it but I will show you what to do with this right um so once you've gone over it go over it with your finger first to make the initial crease um, and then it'll stop stop your page tearing um, but be very careful with the the edge there but what you do is you just use like the flat um, kind of at an angle and you just push it along and then that makes it flatter if you can tell it's it's pushed it down a lot more than my finger did okay and then down as well if you are doing this make sure you hold your corners and um, so it doesn't make it go like skew with okay so like you can just do it with this in your hand as well so like that and then over with your bone boner. <laughs> That's how I do with the bottom one. Like I say, it's been a while, I don't really use it, but this book that I've picked is a bit the pages are a bit thick.
apologise for the sniffing by the way. I have hay fever and it's um, my tablet seems to run out early evening and I forgot to take another one so <laughs> I do apologise and I hope it doesn't get on your nerves too much. Nearly done. So I'll leave if I leave it running while I'm doing this then you can you don't have to keep stopping and thinking, oh what how did she do that bit again? You can just wait for the next page and I'll and I'll show you again. But again, take your time with this bit. Don't do it as fast, like try and do it as fast as me as soon as you, like on your first pattern or whatever. It, I took forever when I first started. You just kind of go into auto mode. The more you do, and also don't worry if if your your heart's like not perfect your first time mine certainly wasn't um, and not many not many people's were it's just it's all practice once you've done a couple or even your first one you kind of you know what you did wrong and what you need to tweak um, and then you just do those things the next time and then if there's anything else then you just you just keep learning. There's also there is also different ways of doing the folding as well for different effects. Um, so yeah, you know, once you get the hang of like doing it this way, you can try all different ways for the. Like some people mark, do a mark up here as well, and so they do the fold like, like there and there. It makes like a more three D effect, uh, which does work quite well on on basic shapes. It does, or oh, and actually on words, um, in particular fonts like the more bold fonts look really good because it it makes them stand out and look more 3D right. I'm almost done now page 75 so I can't be that far I'm Also, I am still doing this, I might as well give you a few tips about the book folding world. Um, patterns always belong to the designer, whoever, so whoever made them. So, my, like this is my pattern. Um, you're not allowed to share the pattern with anybody, like this actual pattern. Um, but you can use it for making your books and sell the books that you've made using it as well and that that's the rule for all pattern sellers so it doesn't matter who's whoever 
pattern that you buy. That's generally the rule. But make sure it says on it that you are allowed to sell them if that's what you want to do. Um, because some are only personal use. But the majority are like commercial use. But again, even when it says if it says commercial use, you cannot share the pattern because it's not yours to to share or sell. All right, yeah. And also, if you want to find um, good pattern makers, like there's there's loads on Etsy, um, but be careful of the ones that are selling them really cheap patterns because a lot of them are not tested they're not some people have they've pinched pictures um, of other people's folds so it's not even that pattern that you get in and so you might be buying one cheap at like 99p or something but you'll be wasting a book most of the time So definitely check people's reviews on there. Um, if you are in my Facebook group or if you would like to join, then join up and I have, I will have a list of um, trusted Etsy sellers and also ones that are not, if they're not on Etsy, they'll be in the file as well. Um, and there is, a, there's a main book folding group that will have an even bigger list of trusted sellers and I will show you, give you the link for that as well, that will be in there because um, quite a lot of newbies do get caught out and then they end up, yeah, they end up having to pay out again basically and also there's, um, there's a lot of free patterns for, for you to practice with in if quite a few groups like in my group there's quite a few um, I've got like mum and the variations like mom and mam um, there's even a little penguin um, a bigger heart pattern just like 200 pages and I'm done so I can shut up now right and there you go there's the little heart all nice and party <laughs>